everyone, welcome to another Blu-ray unboxing video. Today I'll be unboxing the 20th anniversary limited edition, uh, I guess you could call it a gift set for one of my all-time favorite movies, The Big Lebowski. Uh, I will be giving away the digital copy that comes with this. If you would like to win it, just be a subscriber to this channel and leave a comment below saying what your favorite part of The Big Lebowski is. Or if you haven't seen the movie, which I hope you have, uh, you could just say you've never seen the movie before. Um, and I will pick somebody at random from the comments uh, two weeks from uh, today, which is actually Halloween. So I'll pick somebody on Halloween day uh, to win the digital copy. Uh, make sure you include your Instagram username so I can send you a message on there with the uh, code. If you don't have an Instagram account, just include whatever you prefer. But for me, I would really appreciate it if you had an Instagram. It's much easier for me. Um, so yeah, just follow those rules and you could possibly win the digital copy. Anyways, yeah, this is a big... No pun intended. <laughs> a big box. This is really, like, really big. So I brought out for comparison the original uh, Big Lebowski Blu-ray that I owned, which is a nice digi book um, with a nice rug on the back. Really ties the ties the package together. Uh, <laughs> but here's a comparison. I mean, so a digi book's a little bit, you know, a little bit wider and a little bit taller than a regular Blu-ray. So yeah, this is a big box, like. <laughs> um, so if you guys don't know already, obviously 20th anniversary, this movie came out in 1998, um, and yesterday, on Tuesday, along with Ant-Man and the Wasp, there's a 4K release for this movie. Um, so Universal decided to also release a gift set. Now, I don't think this is sold in stores, because um, I bought it off Best Buy, and I think it said not sold in stores. So, yeah, this had to come in the mail, that's why it's a day late, but it's not a big deal. Um, I'm just very happy to have this, and I can imagine how nice the movie must look in 4K, because I really love the regular Blu-ray release of it. I thought it looked great, um, so the 4K must be even better, obviously, because it's, you know, 4K. Uh, so, yeah, I love this movie. It's in my top 10. Um, if I remember correctly, I think it's my sixth favorite movie, because I did a ranking of all my uh, favorite films, or should I say just list my top 30 favorite movies. If you like to check those videos out, um, of course you got Jeff Bridges, Steve Buscemi, John Goodman as the dude, Donnie and Walter, of course. Yeah, just an amazing movie. One of the funniest movies I've ever seen. One of the, <laughs> one of the, just one of the best movies I've ever seen. The Coen Brothers are, you know, they're amazing. So, yeah. Um, without further ado, let's open this up. Um, I do know it comes obviously with a bowling ball bag, which is probably the main driving price of this why it's so expensive because it's like a legitimate like bag like it looks very nice um there's also like a sweater kind of replica of the dude's sweater um that i guess goes around the blu-ray case and then there's like a bowling ball that's like a pencil holder or something i don't know but uh let's get this opened up and of course as you can tell the artwork is the rug which is very funny <laughs> Yeah, this is so cool, man. Oh my god, I love this thing. I, literally, as soon as I heard about it, I didn't even think twice. I, I, I pre-ordered it right away. No, even when I heard about it, like, it wasn't available for pre-order yet, so I, like, diligently waited for Best Buy to, like, finally list this on their website. Um, and when they did, I ordered it right away. So, yeah, very excited about this. And uh, for once, UPS came pretty early, because this is a bigger package. It had to be shipped by UPS, and at least in my experience, UPS loves to come super late in the day. But I just got home from school um, around noontime. Right now it's 12, 18, um, and I got home around 12, actually, and this was at, at the door. So it might have came a little earlier than 12, actually. So, yeah, very happy about that. But uh, let's see. I assume we open the top. And there's no tape or anything, so that's nice. It's just a plastic, uh, plastic covering it, plastic wrap, I should say. Yeah, obviously this is a bigger, <laughs> bigger thing than I'm used to, so I had to kind of adjust my uh, seating. I'm very far back from this, if you can't tell, and my camera's like up in my face. <laughs> I'm trying to like do this without, okay, without any struggle. So inside the box is just plain cardboard. But uh, here's one more shot of the back if you want to read any of that. Um, nice pictures, but yeah, very awesome. All right, so let's move the box over to the side. And here's the bag. This is a nice bag. This is the Big Lebowski on it. It's got two nice handles. Yeah, this is like a legitimately well-made bag. 
I'm not like an expert on like, you know, material or anything. I'm not sure what this is, but it's very nice. So yeah, I love the colors on it. And it's got two zippers here. So let's open it up. Let's see what we got. So inside, first thing I see we got, yep, figured. <laughs> it's in the dude's sweater. Now, uh, it looks like it's just one piece, so it doesn't like zip up or anything. So it just comes off like that. I don't think it had a zipper anyway in the movie, or did it? I don't even know. Um, so standard 4K uh, case here. I'm not sure if the regular one has a slipcover or not. This one does not. So I don't know. Does the regular one have a slipcover? This one clearly didn't come with one. Um, so there's the spine. There's the back. And the front. 20th Anniversary Edition. All the dude wanted was his rug back. Alright, so let's open this up and not show the code. Okay. So open it up. Looks just like this. Got some nice discard on that. I love that. Uh, it looks like a bowling ball. And then they maintain the same... Uh, the brown bowling ball for the Blu-ray. The original one I have, it looks just like that too. Um, it's probably the same exact disc, I assume. Yeah, see? I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this one or, you know, because anytime I get like I upgrade to 4K, I put my old version of it in a pile, the old Blu-ray, to give or to sell eventually. Um, so I don't know if I'll keep that one. I really love it though, that Digibook. Um, here's the back, just an advertising for other Universal movies on 4K. All right, I'm going to cut away real quick because my camera only records up to a certain amount of time. I don't know where I'm at right now. All right, so getting back into the video. So there's the discs one more time. All right, very nice. And then one look at the sweater. Nice material. This feels like a legit, like, sweater. It's not too thick or anything, though. It's, like, it's actually kind of thin, but it's okay. I feel like, uh... <laughs> I'm sure you can obviously buy the replica sweater or whatever. I know Jeff Bridges actually owns the real one. Um, but I feel like this is like what it would feel like. You know what I mean? Like this actually feels like it's part of it. Um, but yeah, very nice. I don't want to like unfold it or anything. But that's really cool. So that's that. And then also inside the bag. I'm going to zip it so I can get easier access. Open it up. So basically the Blu-ray case was just laid out right here, and then this was kind of on top of it like that. So let's move the bag off to the side. And here's the bowling ball. So let's open this. Um, it looks like there's tape right here, a big piece of tape. Two big pieces of tape on each side, so let's get the tape off. It actually wraps around the whole thing. Hmm, you know what? Let me grab scissors. This might be easier if I just cut it. Bear with me here. Alright. Grab some scissors. I'll adjust myself. Actually, you know what? I'm going to cut one end and then, yeah, open it like this. There we go. Alright, so here's the bowling ball. Nice. It's got a flat surface, so that's good. We can put it right there, just like that. There's a nice piece of... Uh, styrofoam I guess right plastic and then in here it looks like we got just I'm not sure what this is oh it's like a little cloth oh that's really cool I didn't even know that uh this was like a, a thing that came with it it's like a cloth thing I guess you can clean the bowling ball with and it's just like the rug that's so cool I'm actually probably just gonna display this that's really awesome <laughs> that's so cool wow it's like a cloth very nice material and it's the rug so we got a replica rug a replica sweater a replica bowling ball so a lot of great stuff in this release so far all right so let me move all that junk off to the side now i think on the box it said this is actually a pencil holder so does this open up i thought this would open up no it doesn't open up no huh, that's very surprising i thought there'd be stuff inside of this um it does not seem to open up but it is supposed to be like a pencil slash pen holder, I guess. So actually, let me grab a pencil um, inside my book bag here. Let's see, those holes don't look that big though, so I'm gonna try to grab a, a thinner 
Here's like a red pencil. I love this pencil, by the way. Fun fact. <laughs> uh, I use it all the time. So yeah, it is like a pencil holder. Here's a pen. Okay, it works pretty decently. All right, let me fill the other hole. Um, that's what she said. <laughs> uh, here's another pen. So let's get that in there. So yeah, it's pretty much just meant for that, I guess. Um, I want to see in the back of the box if it says anything else about it. Um, I don't think so. I think it's just meant to be a, a pencil holder. It doesn't even say that on the box. It's just something I think I read on the uh, description um, before I bought it. Uh, that it's a pencil holder and it comes with a cloth. So, but yeah, that's really cool. So, move that off to the side. But yeah, it doesn't seem to open. I thought you could like turn it and it'll come apart, but it is not doing that. It's one solid piece, but that's okay. But yeah, the main thing that made this pricey was the bag for sure. Because that's like a real deal bag. So, one last overview. Um, let me zip the bag back up real quick. I wonder how long this video is going to turn out to be. <laughs> oh, for any of you guys wondering, by the way, um, I was supposed to do the Purge digital copy giveaways. You know, two weeks ago I unboxed all four of the Purge movies, and I'm supposed to do the giveaways for those. Last night I was supposed to, you know, pick winners for that. But YouTube was down, like legitimately down, for like a whole hour or something. And it just happened to be the hour that I was trying to, uh, you know, do the giveaways. And I thought something was wrong with my computer. Like, I, I didn't know YouTube was legitimately down, because I've never heard of such a thing in my life, YouTube being down. Um, well, maybe I have, I just don't remember. Or it's just a very rare thing. But um, I wasn't able to do the giveaways last night because I was trying to get to bed. Um, I had to be up early today to go to school. So I uh, decided to put that off until today. So today I'll pick winners for that in case anybody was wondering. Um, by the time this uploads, I might have done it already. We'll see. Um, but yeah, just letting you guys know about that. But uh, like I said, feel free to win the digital copy for this. Um, I'll pick somebody on Halloween. Just follow the rules that I mentioned earlier. And that's about it. I mean, uh, I love this set. It's really cool. Um... I would say my only gripe is, like, I wish it maybe came with, like, I don't know, like, image cards or something, but that's not a big deal. It really isn't. Um, yeah, uh, just, yeah, I just kind of wish this opened up and had something in it. Like I said, like, maybe image cards, but that's not a big deal. Um, it's okay. I was just kind of expecting that to open up, but it's just a pencil holder, so it's okay. But I love the replica rug and then the replica sweater. That's really cool. And, of course, the movie is probably going to look great on 4K. And the bag is really cool. So, anyways, thanks for watching this, guys. That has been the Big Lebowski 4K 20th Anniversary Limited Edition gift set. It's a real mouthful. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching this, and have a good one. Bye-bye.